Hands down, one of the best looking CRT die casts of 2008. Easily has to go to David Rudiman's 2008 UPS Kentucky Derby Toyota Camry. Howdy, howdy, folks. It is Diecast Buffet here, or should I be named, because this is a Kentucky Derby David Rudiman Toyota Camry from 2008. This is absolutely a banging looking paint scheme. And I tell you what, man, huge shout out to my man Kyle for sending me this car. If you see the Diecast haul, you would see this car in there. Well, just a little bit of some difference with it. I did paint the wheels chrome, so that's always good. Um, so I, because this, you know, it's an MWR, it's an MWR car. They had chrome wheels, so I mean, I had to do it. 2008, David Rudiman, UPS Kentucky Derby Toyota Camry. This is a beautiful die cast. Absolutely huge shout out to my man Kyle. I, I just can't say thank you enough for sending me this car for free. Look at the boxes on I me. Mean, you got MWR Racing, got number 44, David Rudiman. Kentucky Derby, you got UPS Racing, uh, Action Racing Collectibles. I mean, the box design is really good. This little part right here don't like to close too well. But I mean, it's just a beautiful looking box design. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this Toyota Camry out of the box. Holy cow, man. This thing is just gorgeous, man. I mean, what a stunning looking die cast. And this is one car I did not have either. This is one car I did not have. You know, I have uh, the David Rudiman. Uh, 44. I have the Dale Jarrett 44, both of the UPS cars from 2008. I also have the uh, Dale Jarrett Last Ride car from 2008. Just absolutely gorgeous. What a beautiful die cast. You, you know how difficult it is to wrap a nose like that with all those checkered patterns? I mean, phenomenal job by Action Racing Collectibles getting this car made. What a gorgeous looking race car, bro. And then over here to the nose of this car, I got UPS there. I got the, what is it, 134? Is that the 134th Kentucky Derby? If that's May 3rd, that's two days before my birthday. You, you, you want to know how old I was in 2008? Well, guess what? May 5th, 2008, which is, which is my birthday, I turned nine years old. That's a long freaking time ago, my dude. Uh, so you got Toyota Camry here. The Camry's a little bit off-centered. That's all good. That's all good. Get the 44 there. Reminds me of that Terry Labonte 44 from yesteryear. Uh, get Goodyear, Gatorback, uh, Moog. Uh, what is that? Comp, Edelbrock, JE, Sunoco. Uh, Wix Air Filters. Hey, Dow Chemical. You beautiful nose. I mean, the chrome here on that little grill piece. Beautiful. The chrome on the... Look at the chrome on those wheels, man. Look at that shine. I mean, could you just imagine this thing just boogieing around the racetrack? Just look at that chrome there. Absolutely stunning. So you got this whole front fascia here. I mean, it's got that beautiful retro checkered pattern there. I mean, it's just really freaking cool, bro. And even got the beautiful little uh, splitter there painted as well. I mean, just fantastic job by Action Racing Collectibles. I tell you what. Sure, you could see a little bit of some decal overlapping here, but I mean... Let me tell you, man, if, if if Lionel even tried to sniff on this thing, this thing would look so bad. This thing instead looks so beautiful. So over here to the left side of the car, you got David Rudiman right there. I love that MWR font. Very sharp. Got their little American flag there, too. It's pretty cool. I uh, got Toyota. got Aaron's, Coca-Cola, Napa Auto Parts. Uh, I think it's safe. No, it's not safe to clean. That's UPS. I got UPS there. Dow Chemical. We got UPS there. 134 Kentucky Derby. You got over here in the right where you got safety clean. Can't read that one. Got Freightliner. Um, can't read the bottom left one. Got Sherwin Williams there though. IRA, I think. Something like that. N I R A. I'm not too sure on that. Uh, you got uh NASCAR race car there. You got the Sprint Cup logo there. That's a throwback. Uh, you got Mechanics Sport Holly 3M Direct TV Clavine EA Sports. Uh, wow, uh, it's it sure is funny how they can actually make a proper NASCAR game, yet some of these uh, Joe Schmoes, oof, Heat 4 and Heat 5, uh, that's the first time since 2001, didn't buy a NASCAR game. Now it's two years in a row, imagine that. Uh, of course, Autometer, Denzo, and Jessel got that number 44 there, very beautiful. Got the, it's almost like a day glow orange, to be honest with you. It might look a little dull on camera, but that's that's borderline day glow right there. That's very sharp. I just love this right here, man. I absolutely freaking lootly, man, love this. We got the red Goodyear with the white outlining. I cannot tell you how beautiful that is. I mean, I want to see that on my own race cars with the Buffet Racing South Bunch. I tell you what, that's a very cool idea with the white outlining there. Beautiful, my dude. Sweet baby Jesus. Look at this. So you get the whole back end of the car, man. I tell you what, it's all that beautiful, like, retro checkered pattern there. 
I tell you, that, that is just gorgeous. You got what can Brown do for you? Fantastic looking race car. And they even painted the freaking spoiler, my dude. I mean, even the brackets are painted. I mean, this is quality. I mean, you got the decal that wraps all the way up here to the tippy top of the spoiler. Then it's wrapped on the other side of it. I mean, you would never see half of this decal quality on anything Lionel even just sniffs on. I tell you, this is this is a real man's die cast right here, bro. You got Toyota there. Got the, I like the little outlining on there. It's just not plain. You got the white to kind of brighten it up, and then you have the black middle there. It just 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 looks very sharp, and it matches the 134 on the side. And just look at that freaking chrome, bro. Oh man, the car was ran with the chrome wheels, right? But the die cast was produced with the black wheels. I can't stand that. Look, if, if the car was run with the black wheels, that's cool. We'll go with that. But if the car was ran with a colored wheel pattern and they didn't produce it, I'm going to add it in. You know? I, I, I think it's okay to because I, it just makes the car more realistic. I freaking love doing that. I got, of course, David Rubin over here. I mean, this paint scheme, I just, I cannot stress it enough how absolutely gorgeous this paint scheme is. And here's a little funny thing I noticed with this car. So, for some reason... The front wheels are a different wheel than the back wheel. I don't know if this was just a part of how they did the Gold Series cars, how they wanted a, because this one has a little bit of a deeper dish on it, right? You can see the grooves on this one. You can't see the grooves too much on this one. This one has a deeper dish than this one. Why? I have no clue. I don't know if it's supposed, it was supposed to be like that. I don't know, uh, but this was a Gold Series car. And uh, it has a different set of front wheels than the back wheel. It's it looks impossible, but I tell you, it is. It is a different. You can you could just barely see a slightly different mold. It's it's incredible. Uh, but I I just freaking love this. The Goodyear logo is a little bit off key there, unfortunately. That's all good and dandy. I mean, the car is like a dark brown, but it has that yellow and it has that that orange and the red that just it just sets this thing off, bro. And I mean, my man Kyle here. I mean, he literally sent me this. He said, "Look, man." I want to make a donation to your collection. I'm going to send you this car. And I just said, dude, thank you so freaking much. And I mean, go check him out on Instagram. I mean, he's got two uh, pages. got the Realist Kyle. Then you have uh, Kyle's 164 Galore. Go check him out on Instagram. I tell you what, man. Beautiful die cast. But guess what? Even a freaking nicer individual, man. I mean, this dude is just so freaking nice and kind. I mean, he's given me a lot of stuff. And I just, I just greatly appreciate it. So freaking much. Look at those roof rails. And then over here to the deck lid of this car, you got the UPS. I mean, you just have that, that entire, like, checkered pattern. I, I just... That's probably one of the hardest decals to ever wrap, is a full decal like this. And especially with so many small shapes. Any, like, decal imperfection, anything that overlaps, you could see it pretty easy. Like this right there. You could see a little bit of that. But it doesn't look that bad. Like, it just... It, they did a phenomenal job making this card. And I mean, I just love how the UPS logo is a little bit smaller because it wraps around that two-tone brown roof pattern. God, man. I mean, whoever designed this car, man, I tell you what, they deserve a, a pat on the back because I tell you, this thing is just absolutely flawless. The interior, the, the windows, not even a... Just not even slightly yellowed. I mean, this thing is practically mint. 2008 was an incredible year for NASCAR diecast. I mean, obviously the COT was full time, but I tell you what, the quality was just remarkable, bro. Easily one of the, my favorite Toyota diecast I own. And, you know, it's an MWR car. I love putting those chrome wheels on there. I think I might have all the 2008 um, paint schemes now. I don't know. Did they make a Michael McDowell 2008? This is a amazing donation by the realist Kyle uh, to go ahead and put this in my collection. I tell you what, I didn't have this car either. I've been wanting this thing for a number of years, bro. I've been wanting this car since like 2013, man. And uh, just I just cannot say thank you enough. So uh, a thumbs up from me to you. Absolutely appreciate it, bro. What a freaking awesome car. Make sure to give the video a big thumbs up as well, guys. I appreciate every single one of y'all who subscribe on my, you know, YouTube channel here. And, of course, go and follow me on Instagram at DieCastBuffet if you haven't already. Post a lot of cool behind-the-scenes stuff. Uh, updates on new stuff coming up on the channel. A whole bunch of cool stuff over there. Even my custom DieCast builds. Go check me out on Instagram at DieCastBuffet. Post a lot of cool stuff like that. Anyways, folks, thank you all so much for watching the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. DieCastBuffet. Signing off.